Um, on the behalf of USAID's Global Health Security Division, our Office of Infectious Disease, and our Bureau for Global Health, um, it's truly an honor to be here today and to um, contribute to this tribute to the life of Dr. Jean-Jacques Muyembe. USAID's investments in the Rodolphe Mariu Goma Laboratory was initiated in 2019 in the midst of the 10th Ebola outbreak. But 2019 should also be remembered for another reason, because it was the year that the governments of DRC and Nigeria joined 17 other countries in accepting what is an intensive partnership between the United States government to, pre to prevent, detect, and respond to infectious disease outbreaks at their source as part of the global health security agenda. So what does an intensive partnership mean? In this instance, it meant that the investment in INRB GOMA was not going to be a one-off activity. On the contrary, it would serve as the foundation for what would be a collaboration between the US government and the government of DRC to improve capacities in a range of technical areas that are found in the international health regulations. So in addition to the investments that we have heard about um, for INRB GOMA, USAID's global health security programs have also been partnering with the government of DRC to reduce the threat of antimicrobial resistance by providing technical support to DRC's National Commission on AMR. We have been partnering to improve zoonotic disease surveillance and detection by equipping Kinshasa's central veterinary laboratories. We have been working together to roll out electronic um, reporting systems for animal disease outbreaks. And we've been in supporting field investigations of priority zoonotic diseases. Now, these are diseases that have been prioritized by the government of DRC. Um, and we've been supporting field investigations into these diseases, including monkeypox. We have also entered into partnerships to assure that communities have specially targeted messages um, on and information to protect their health um, by, for, for instance, providing things such as interactive voice response messages on diseases such as yellow fever, rabies, Ebola, COVID-19, messages that are tailored to community understanding in local languages and are now available on the country's 42502 hotline. And we've partnered um, in workforce development as we have um, continued to um, develop capacities around One Health workforce in country. So these are only a few of the examples of the successful partnerships that USAID and the government of DRC have been able to undertake in the very few years um, since DRC joined the, the Partnership of Global Health Security Agenda countries. And I use the word we partner very deliberately. It means simply that even in the most mundane tasks, we are striving to do so in a way that honors every voice equally. This is because Dr. Muyembe's legacy should not only continue to inform what we are doing, but how we are doing it. Dr. Muyembe, has inspired our own reconsideration of how USAID is approaching global health security.
And as we're grappling with the practical meanings of ideas such as decolonization, anti-racism, and global health in general, and to our work in particular, we know that Dr. Muyembe embodies whatever it is that we mean by elevating local voices and by prioritizing resources for local institution. So Dr. Muyembe is a very embodiment of localizing global health security as USAID understands it. So Dr. Muyembe, thank you so much for your life and your service and your inspiration. Uh, USAID values your intensive partnership and we also look forward to continuing this intensive partnership with yourself, with Dr. Mukadi, with Dr. Kavunga, and the government of DRC as we continue our partnership to advance global health security.